Hey, Katrina here, and welcome to another 5-Minute Friday on Scrappy Horse's YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share a masculine card that is on the Cut It Up blog. It's also on my Scrappy Horse's blog, so you can see it either place. The first screen that you're seeing here is from uh, my Cricut DS, and this gives you an idea of the cuts I use and where I got them. So let's get started with a little inking. Now I have a glass picture frame plate that I lay over white paper and that's what I use to ink um, my die cuts. It cleans up very easily and you'll see that here in just a minute. I'm using some um, blue and a little bit of chocolate brown. These are retired colors from close to my heart. Now I'm coming in and I'm inking around the card front. Uh, this was from Whimsy. And the Happy Birthday Sentiment is from Cricut DS and I put it all together with a uh, print and cut. Because my cardstock has a white core, when it cut my little deer, uh, there was some white there. So I used some black pigment ink and I'm cleaning up that ink now with just some antibacterial hand sanitizer. Any white that doesn't get covered, you can always use a Copic pen, and guess what? That hand sanitizer will clean that up off that glass plate also. Taking these shapes that I cut in Cricut, and um, I'm just layering them together. Just used a little bit of double-sided tape there. I'm bringing in those nice black silhouette deer. Those are from Polka Doodles, by the way. And I'm just laying them out to see how I would like those to lay. And now I'm going to bring in a little fabric tack. I like to use fabric tack whenever I want some wiggle room. Sometimes when I use tape, um, it sticks, and I mean really sticks, and I don't have any option to move it. So uh, using glue helps me. I can wiggle it around a little bit, straighten things up, and it's just a little easier to work with sometimes. Now I'm getting it down on those little, little thin legs. I'm just sort of pulling it away so that it gets rid of the gloss. Once my little deer are in place and I'm happy with where they are, I'm going to come in with some dimensional tape and lay it on the top and the bottom of my die cut, leaving the middle space open. The reason I'm leaving the middle space open is because I'd like to put some twine on my card so I want to be sure that I leave space for the twine to lay underneath my die cut. Now I'm going to my card front and you'll notice there are little dragonflies on this wood print. I just think they are adorable. So I wanted to bring them out a little bit. So I'm using a sparkly black gel pen just to give them a little bit of presence on the card front. As you can see, it's not too hard. Don't stress out if you decide you wanna do something like this. Just go for it. It just adds a little sparkle. Now I'm gonna weed the text or the sentiment. Now remember, I put the sentiment on the card in print and cut. I use the very same sentiment, exactly the same size, and cut it out of vinyl. Now, the reason I did this is because I can go in then and I can place these vinyl letters exactly over where they are on my card, where it printed. There's no guesswork, but I get a little, little tiny added shine and dimension. And it's really not too hard to do. It, I had a few letters off just simply because I wasn't right over the card when I was doing it. Here I'm just marking the card front to decide where my twine is going to go. I'm wrapping it so there are three little layers of that twine. A little masking tape there to hold it down. And then I'll put the die on top. Choosing to use a little bit of glue, again, gives me a little bit of wiggle room to go back and forth. On the back of the card, I'm using some double-sided tape, and that is strong stuff. So when you use these double-sided tapes, know that there is not much wiggle room. I'm putting it on the 
black card base. It makes it look very masculine. Hey, thanks for dropping by. It's great to have company.